and the antelope lay. Where seldom is heard the discouraging word. And the skies are not cloudy all day. Always hated that song. <laughs> Never could understand it. Mushy, that's what it is. Mushy. Another day, nothing to show for it. You're a clever ghost, Mary Hallahan, but I'll find your secret. I can sense your presence. The way other folks can tell storms are brewing from their aches and pains. It's a feeling of gift. And I've got that gift. Why don't you give me a hint, a sign, some little spirit work, some hocus pocus that'll point me in the right direction. You can say what you want, but I still think it's a stupid idea. It's my idea, not yours. I'm the one who's going to be doing it, not you. I still say it's stupid. Eh? Who could that be? <laughs> Playing your tricks again, eh, Mary? Well, you forget. I've got a trick or two of my dirty sleeve, too. Your main trouble, Jimmy, is that the fuse box is? Never mind about the fuse box. <coughs> Forget about the lights. I saw them, Tom. I actually saw them. Saw who? The ghosts! The three sisters, Mary, Beth, Julie. Was he with them? Who? <laughs> <laughs> you people. Ain't got no right being in this place. It don't belong to you. <laughs> you don't look like a ghost to me. I'm shutting. I take out. It doesn't look too together. The desert is full of characters like Sutton. He's harmless. That's hope. Worry about him later. Tom, what I'm going to say will sound crazy. Halloween. As far as he's concerned, I've waited 50 years to find my treasure. Treasure? He thinks he's a pirate. Ow. <laughs> <laughs>
a difference. <laughs> it's much too early for your brand of humor, Mo. You people got about 60 seconds to get out of here before I put you all under arrest for trespassing. Oh, God. So please tell me what's going on. It's a long story, Mo. I want to know about that mob of funny-looking people. They're not <laughs> from this town. I'll explain it over breakfast. You've got it, Bill. <coughs> Setting the last of the charges, Clint. If anyone wants one last look to the three sisters, now's the time. I've seen enough. Well, let's go, Jenny. It's going to be quite a show. I've already had one. <laughs> You're intelligent, aren't you? You might say that. You and demolition? Yeah, I get a bang out of a job. <laughs> oh no, a comedian. See, that's what I want to talk to you about. See, I've got a great idea for a television series. It takes place in the end of the Three Sisters. These two guys come in and open up a hotel, and all sorts of funny things start to happen. What do you think? I can't see it. <laughs>